On this episode of Scott vs. Box, I open up tapes sent to me by Hog Wild. Okay, I get that it's a game, but do we need to go get my VCR? <laughs> this is tapes. Thank you, Hog Wild, for sending this game. It's the ultimate turn based, appropriate proportion estimation showdown. Tapes. <laughs> All right, it's for ages six and up, uh, two to four players. Playtime is 15 minutes. If you go 16, you're going to get thrown directly into jail. Uh, I can't say that's true, you, but severe penalties will occur. Uh, size matters, plus guesstimate rules. Players take turns trying to guess the dimensions of nearby objects using random, um, let's say, somewhat wacky units of measurement. How tall is that lamp in gummy bears? Or how wide is the coffee table in bananas? The player closest to the actual size wins. That sounds fun. Uh, I saw this demoed. And I was all about it. This is super cool. And thank you to, again to Hogwild for sending it. I think that's the only piece. <gasps> cardboard. Goodbye, cardboard. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, instructions? Maybe it's just pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> so flip over the utility box and give it a spin. Okay. So I got the utility box. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's like a clipboard. So I can put papers here and jot things down. Do all that says tapes right up there, but it's got some clipping action. Uh, so let's see. Is this open? <gasps> it does. <gasps> Everything's inside. Holy schmoly. A pencil. It's well worth its weight in gold. And then we've got the rounds here and all that stuff. The units, players. So you clip it there. It even tells you to clip it here. If it was me, I would have put dummy, but it doesn't say dummy. Look at that. Right there. So that's set. And then we got other cool stuff inside. <gasps> More paper. And then we've got all our measurement tapes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And here. Oh, Z insert. <gasps> Another pencil. My God, this thing's worth a fortune. So tells us all the contents inside. Yes, so we've got all the contents. We've got a. Double-sided fantastic tape measures. We got four of those. We got two mini pencils, one tapes utility box and wacky wheel unit. That's this. And then we've got a score pad, a scrap paper pad, and a rule book. All that is here. Uh, object of the game. Uh, I said that part. And then who goes first? To decide who will start, each player spins the wacky unit wheel. The player who spins the shortest unit of measurement will go first, and the rest of the players will take their turns in ascending order of measurement. If two players land on the same unit, settle it with a round of rock, paper, tapes. Or rock, paper, scissors. Your choice. <gasps> it's where you throw tapes at each other until somebody's unconscious. So let's see. So we got, I'll show it to you first before I start spinning things. You're like, what are you spinning, buddy? Can't see it. So it shows all the stuff here of all the things that are on the the board. So let's see here. So I can read it too. Squirrels, wiener dogs, apples, bananas, centimeters, inches, quarters, playing cards, soda cans. Uh, where to go? Basketballs, gummy bears, chicken egg, burger, pizza, honeybees, hamsters, squirrels. That's, that's, that's crazy. Look at all that. That's all there. So it shows all that. So we spin. what I get? what I get? I got pizza. Oh, no, no, no. There's no pizza to get. See, it's spinning. Then the next person, they get squirrels. What's bigger? Pizza or squirrel? Don't know. Don't know. Could be a big squirrel. That squirrel could eat pizza and then it's huge. It's a gigantic squirrel. Because it's a... Uh, that squirrel goes, one bite, everybody knows the rules. And then everybody yells at that squirrel. They're mad at it for some reason. Ah, okay. So you play the game, you, you, you all the stuff. So let's, let's see. Let's try, let's check out one of these measurement tapes here. See what we got in store for ourselves. So this one, oh, okay. So it's letting you know what the measurements are. These are all tied up nicely so they don't get damaged. Let's see here. So this one is... Oh, this is funky. So this is trying to uh, trying to wrap my head around it. So a soda can. It's letting me know like as you as you're doing this, this is quarters, playing cards, all that kind of stuff. 
And oh, so this is in measurements of that. Okay. So that's that one. What else we got? The apples, the bananas one here. And we got four total. It's cheeseburgers, I can see, hamsters, all that good stuff. This is this is funky. This is really creative and imaginative. I don't know how you would have done this. How you're sitting around going like, I know. Game about measurements. Like, what are you talking about? They're Jimbo. And he's like, hold on, hear me out. And then coming up with this. So apples and bananas. So roughly the length of an apple is on average like that right there. And then a bananas, that right there. <gasps> okay. So then it's figuring out how do we, uh, so how do we get started? Don't forget to double or triple points fall multiplayer challenge in effect. Okay. Oop, I skipped, I skipped, I skipped. Okay. Spin for your challenge effect. Each player gets one turn per round to begin. Make sure everyone has a piece of scrap paper. First player will now spin the wheel to determine the challenge effect. So then, blind guess, players may get as close as they want to the object and inspect it closely. So you're taking just an object around the room. Player whose turn it is must choose an object that is visible in the room. If you're outside, choose an object that is nearby. Player must also decide what dimension the group needs to estimate. That means choosing heights, the object's height, width, or depth, but you can get creative, try circumference, or if you see in four dimensions, go for it. All right, so this is this is sophisticated. So let's see, let's find something that's in, what do I want shoes? In the room, Godzilla. That's how I measure most of my things, is in Godzilla's. So we got a Godzilla. How are we gonna measure Godzilla? How many, <laughs> how many, Honeybees? Should we do that? Or, or or apples? How many apples? So like I spun it. It's like, hey, how many apples is Godzilla? In length. So let's let's see here. In length, he is three apples. <laughs> it's so weird. This Godzilla is three apples long. There you go. Marketing for the next movie. And then you just keep going. You do other stuff throughout the game. You do you're guesstimating, you're doing that all, like I wouldn't have done that, I cheated. I measured it right away. I'm a cheater. So hold on, let me do this again. I'm gonna pick something else. What else I got that's a little funky? I got Ninja Turtle cereal. <laughs> I haven't eaten it yet. So I'm gonna choose, like we're gonna choose what the category is, right? Like how many, uh, what's this one? How many quarters? How many quarters high is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I'm going to guess. I'm guessing. I spun it as like it's quarters. Uh, I'm going to guess 30 quarters. So now we're going to measure it in quarters. How do we, how we do this? Okay. So many quarters. And of course, a lot's on the line here. Bragging rights. So here's where the measurement ends. So we're going to look at it here. And that is... Ten quarters? Some. You win this round. Darn it. So my guesstimation is way off. I was I was over by 20 quarters. That's a lot of pinball games. This is cool. So yeah, then you hang around with everybody and then guess and do and spin and all the different measurements and different things around the room. You could be you could know how 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 wide your house is by wiener dogs. That's how crazy this can get. You can Come up with all kinds of stuff. So there's so many possibilities of what you can do with tapes. Very creative, very imaginative. And you can know all kinds of random trivia. So the next time you go to a party, you're like, hey, do you know how long my house is? It's it's 123 wiener dogs. And then they'll call the, the, the paddy wagon for you. And you'll be like, 123 wiener dogs. You're just jealous that my house is 123 wiener dogs. Thank you, Hogwild, for sending tapes. How wide is your house? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want this, uh, there's a link in the description for your own tapes. Tapes. Thanks for watching Scott vs. Box. Well, now would be the perfect time to hit that like button if you haven't already. You know what? Now would also be the perfect time to hit subscribe if you haven't done that already. You know, now would be the perfect time to binge watch every episode I've ever made if you haven't done that already. All right, you can watch Samurai Jack first, but then you gotta watch every episode. Pinky swear.